97.7 DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Supplying every demand. On demand. Setting the bar stories. Small examples of what not to do. So if you can manage to make it through the day without being tricked into buying Aladdin's genie lamp for over $41,000, you're doing okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pricey. That is pricey. But you know what? To be honest, that might have been proof in his head that's legit. So a couple guys have been arrested in India for allegedly duping a doctor into doing just that. Uh, Hang after on. back the truck up. Did you say a doctor got duped? Yep. Into thinking there was a real Jamie lamp? Yeah, so this was kind of a long drawn out like con because apparently the doctor said he met the two guys that presented him with this lamp that would bring him wealth and health and good fortune. Uh, Did after- he see the genie? Uh, well, we're getting there. After okay. he was treating their mother over the course of a month. Okay? So then okay. gradually they start bringing up this guy who they claimed visited their house who had a lamp. From and, the Cave of Wonders? Yeah, right. <laughs> and, so, and so he said, okay, during one visit, Aladdin actually made an appearance in front of him. Come on. Yep. Stop talking. And it, Did he sing a song? And it was, quote, only later he realized that one of the accused had actually been dressing up as I Aladdin. Can't, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. He's a doctor. Yeah. So here's the He's thing. He's a doctor. Yeah. He's supposed to be able to figure this stuff out. And here's the thing. So they they said, hey, I tell you what, we can't part with this lamp for any less than 15 million rupees, which is which is about $200,000, right? That's okay. That's very pricey. But they're like... For a fake genie lamp. But they're like, hey, you've been treating our mother well. For you, we're, we'll part with this genie lamp. For about forty one thousand dollars. Wow! And the what doctor was like, I mean, "Sold." It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's rude to not take advantage of that, right? Really. So again, okay. if if you come across something that seems too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I think He's the part probably not going to get his money back. I he? think the part of the story that really sold it for me was when they legit dressed up like Aladdin. The Aladdin costume, <laughs> yeah, that was must have been very good. What would they like, do? Must have been very convincing. Like at least the deluxe version. Yeah, I was going to say at Party Mart, and, uh, rather than like the, the the just. Oh, that's uh, not. Yeah, that's not the bottom level no, costume. That's no. going to be. <laughs> High quality deluxe model. Right yeah, there. so again, if you can manage to make it through the day without being tricked into buying Aladdin's genie lamp for over $41,000, then you're doing okay. Wait, did he have the magic carpet and a boo? I His don't. little monkey friend? I don't know. I de- oh, that, wow. These that are all great really questions. Over the top convincing. Yeah. And what about Jasmine? Did she show up? I, I would think that's probably the next step. Okay. All right, there you go. That's <laughs> set of the bar, guys, on 99.7 DJX.